Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Ran Randomized. I forgot I have the giant knife out. Let's, let's put that away. It's gonna break in like an hour hit or two. So last video, I explored a couple dungeons. The Shadow Temple, which yielded nothing. And then the Deku Tree, which had like everything. I've got the Nocturne of Shadow, which I'm gonna use right now and see what lies in the dungeon over there. Plus, this is such a convenient way to get to the graveyard, because it's a lot of work to get here, honestly. Alright, let's go. I want to see what this is. I want to see what this dungeon is. If it's the fire temple, I'll be fine as long as I have enough keys. And if not, I have the boss key and hover boots to just skip to the boss right away. I can see what that is. At this point, I have virtual just about every, any item I need to fight a boss, I think. Alright, but let's see what the dungeon is first. Oh, it's the forest temple! Well, I have the hookshot, thank goodness. I don't even have a, I don't have a map or a compass for this place. Shoot. Uh, I think, I think it's vanilla. I sort of hope it's vanilla. This place can get confusing in the Master Quest Edition, so... I'm really hoping this is indeed the vanilla. Is there a gold skull up here? This is vanilla. Good, it's vanilla. Won't be able to finish the dungeon, not enough keys, but... Oh, I can definitely get started on it. I should mark this on my map. Forest Temple. Alright. Alright, what are you? Bombs. Alright, not the best, but whatever, I'll take it. You know, that is a pretty tricky jump. Alright, let's try it again. Maybe I'll just use the hover boots here, because I have them. <laughs> Give me a lot more time to position myself, that's for sure. Alright, what is it? Oh my gosh, that, that just got wasted. Whatever. Let's just continue exploring the temple. With one of the most atmospheric, probably the most atmospheric tune of the entire game. Alright, let's go. There's a gold skull slot to the side. Let's go kill him. Okay, another waste. But I don't think there's too many items left to buy that are important and less than 200. Alright, let's go and fight some staff horses. Oh jeez, that's scary! There we go. I have learned to get pretty aggressive with these guys, and sometimes I can bypass their defenses. Other times, it's not quite that easy. There we go. But yeah, you can't just do that willy-nilly. If, you, if you're not very skilled at this game, that is not feasible. And the jump attacks do like two hearts of damage, so they hurt a lot. I've just played this game enough. Oh, for heaven's sakes, is money going to be the only thing I find here? I mean, outside the one set of bombs I found. Alright, let's go this way. The only thing that's going to stop me are lack of keys. Because I definitely don't have them all. That's the only thing that's going to stop me in this dungeon. I have everything else I need. The Song of Time, bombs, hookshot, arrows. Those are all the items you need to make your way through to the end. The only things left to worry about are the keys. Is 
time for the bow. Let's just make easy work of those guys. Was there a chest up there? I better double check because I don't completely remember. Nope. Alright, let's climb. Oh, and I've got Zelda's lullaby. I think you could use that for one chest in this. Or I'm thinking of, like, Gans Tower. I don't remember Zelda's lullaby is needed to get anything in this dungeon. But if there is, it would be in this room. Nope, okay, you just gotta kill the bubble. Alright, what's it gonna be? Anything good? I haven't found anything good yet. Well, it's the best thing so far. Try again. There we go. This red switch is unique as you can actually press it to deactivate it. It's the only one like that in the game and I don't even know why it's red. There's never a reason you'd ever have to readjust the water level again after this point. Alright, let's try and get this chest. There we go. Positioning can be kind of finicky there. Got a compass for the water temple? Okay, it has the light medallion. Not the most exciting of medallions to get, because... Well, it doesn't give anything on its own. But still, I'll take. Alright, let's keep going. Do I even have the boss key for this dungeon? Well, okay, I at least have that. You know, I never noticed that there's actually blood smeared on the walls down here. How come Nintendo was able to get away with blood <laughs> in an E for Everyone game? Hey, wait a minute, wasn't there a gold skull down here? Or is that only in the Master Quest? Oh, for heaven's sakes. I should have come here poor. Hang on, I could have sworn there was a gold skull down here. I might be confusing this with the Master Quest. I got three Skulltulas so far. Uh-huh. I know there's one at the very end. I, for I kind of forgot what number four was. But yeah, this seems to be a Master Quest Skulltula I'm thinking about. I mean, I'm still really early in the dungeon, so... I'm probably just forgetting where the fourth one is. It's probably just farther down the road. Oh yeah, I remember where it is now. It's up there. We're fine. Let's just go. <laughs> Alright, there's still plenty of forest temple left to cover. Until I run out of keys. Which, the amount of keys I have should at the very least get me to the mini-boss. Not too much farther beyond that, though. This, I think this dungeon, this dungeon has five or six keys. So I forget how many. For Pete's sake, stop! Next time I really should just stun him. Alright, here's a room that confuses a lot of people the first time. Which is almost sort of funny because they sort of mark what you're supposed to do in this puzzle. Uh, let me move this a little more. Okay, we'll take care of that a little later. Let's just deal with the other part of the puzzle. Oh! And while I'm here, there's an eye shoot. To get in our chest, of course. Okay, it's in our heart piece. This isn't too exciting so far. There we go. I think that's the part that really trips people up. Eh, 
There we go. We got this puzzle down. I do have to say, though, the atmosphere in this particular dungeon is very top-notch. There we go. So, I think the fire and water temples are the only ones left to find, and those will be within the Guru Training Ground and Water Temple entrances. There is a good chance the Water Temple will actually still be the Water Temple. Alright, since I have the bow, why don't I untwist this room now? And then retwist the room later to continue on that way. I have the bow, so I might as well just do this now. And allow me to get the boss key chest, another chest, and a gold skull to us, so. And it'll wrap me around, so. Alright, here we go. What's in here? One more. After that, I really don't want to see any more, because they're not going to be at all useful beyond that point. Oops. There we go. Decanuts are really useful against these guys. <laughs> Ooh, arrows! I like shooting things. Alright. Let's go, let's go to live this away. There he is. Oh, for Pete's sakes! Why are there so many money items in this dungeon? I don't like the big ones. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be stuck in the green light that long. There we go. Now give me my item. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's a key for the spirit temple. Good. Oh, I could fight that iron knuckle now. Sweet. I should probably do it as adult Link because it could just kill him faster. And I actually have a bow. <laughs> Kid Link does not have his slingshot, so it will be a lot scarier as Kid Link. And I can easily make it there as adult Link now. Easily. Worth doing, I think. I could also use it to unlock the outdoor and progress farther, but I kind of want to get that childly portion finished. I'll have to think about which path I take. But I do have a reason to go back. Especially since now with the hook shot, I can reach for some skull slits I might have not been able to reach before. Which I don't think I've reached that point on. No, I got all the gold skull slits there. I don't have to worry about that anymore. There's a chest that I... Actually, I might be able to work around the chest that I normally use the long shot for. Yeah! Wait a minute, I could. Yeah! Okay, there's ways. With the hover boots, I can go to the area where the scarecrow normally is in. Yeah, okay, I can make that work. Alright, I'm nearing the end of what I can do here, I feel. I'll be able to start with the first two post sisters, but that's it. Because I'm out of keys. Hello. There we go. Alright, let's go. There you are. As long as you don't target her, she cannot... Although, unlike other ghosts, she actually will do that upon getting hit. Maybe I should use the hammer, except that's double-handed, so that might make this a little tricky. Although she will die in just one more jump attack, so... I shouldn't even worry about it much. 
There we go. And we can also get a treasure. Ooh, that's a lot of arrows. Let's get it. That's what, 20 or 30? It's definitely enough to max myself. Alright, that's the last one I need. I really don't want to see any more. Now we have to fight some style forces. I would only advise attacking like that if you're really, really comfortable with this game. <laughs> Hello! Thankfully, oh, see, it hurts a lot. Thankfully, as long as you target a staff host, the other will just watch my- Oh, okay, that means I have a time limit to kill this one. Shouldn't be too bad, though. I can usually kill these guys very quickly. There we go. But whenever that happens, you have to be quick, or the other one will regroup himself. Essentially starting the fight over again. Alright. I can still get one more item after this chest. But is this one good? Okay, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. The Gerudo's Fortress is now safe, and I can go in the Gerudo Train Ground and see what that is. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So that's good. I actually got something good in the end. That's nice. You know, using the hammer might not be the best idea in the world. I'll actually have to dodge attacks. Okay, it takes the same amount of hits anyway. Even though the hammer is supposed to have the strength of the big horn sword, because it doesn't really matter against these cow sisters. Okay, only five arrows, but I only need three, so. There we go. Well, that's a low note. And that is as far as I can get. I need two more keys to progress any farther. Alright then. Well, we got we got the girl membership card at least. That does open up another dungeon, so. And I've now got all of the gold skulls I'll ever need. All right then, so let's warp out. Let's warp out. Oh, I should put a check mark on the Great Deco Tree to identify that I fully completed that. All right. Now, if I can find any quick route to the fortress. Uh, Actually, hang on. Let's go to the Haunted Wasteland. I've got 200 rupees. I'm going to spend them on that mysterious item. Which I probably should have done before entering the Forest Temple. Because so much money. Oh! Oh, I already had the Spirit Medallion. But I only got a stick out of it. So, not exciting. All right, yeah, let's go to the Haunted Waste, like, quick and... I can get the Skulltula item in the Wasteland. Because I have a hookshot! Ooh, I could possibly get some items here as well. I gotta think about this stuff. Ooh. Wait a minute. Stuff is opening! Still don't have the Lens of Truth, so I'm still not getting to the other side of this, which I guarantee would take me to the Sacred Forest Meadow. Which means... I really want it. Um, this music should not be playing at night. Whatever, I'll take it. 
It'll at least make this a little more lively. Alright, let's go. I've got your money, sir! What do you have? <laughs> you are not funny! What the heck? That's not funny at all! You know what else isn't funny? I'm trying to find my way through this sandstorm. Okay, there's the next flag. There's the next one. It's very hard to see, but... Okay, I can see this one. It's hard to see on this capture card, because it's darker than my TV screen. My TV screen shows this more easily. I think I see one over there. Yep, there we go. Should be almost there. Yeah, there we, there we go. Alright, let's get the skull to Lynette. I already forgot what this item is, so... Well, at least I spent all my money on something useless! Alright, cool. I could... Probably get everything in Dodongo's cavern now that I have a hook shot. I, I should go back there at some point. I do not have the lunch of truth though, so I'm still not gonna go any farther here. Alright then. Let's see if I can get some items here as an adult with my hook shot. Like, I should be able to hookshot up to here and talk to this guy for a reward. Hello! Okay, now that's just gonna be trollish whenever I get my hands on it. Hmm, well, it might be hard to get the other gold skull in this village. If at all possible. Can I even reach this? Shoot, it doesn't reach far enough. There's no way I'm gonna get over there. Yeesh, yeah, I don't see how that's gonna be doable. Yeah, that might have to wait till I get the long shot. Wait! Wait! Okay! Come on! It's just a smidgen too far. <gasps> there we go! Skulltula! Bombs. Is that all of the skulls to listen? Uh, no. No, somehow I am still missing. Well, I think the graveyard is also considered part of the village, so... Yeah. Didn't get everything there. I think there's a skull I never got as a kid. Alright, um... Shall I make use of my member... There's definitely stuff I can do with the membership card, including the archery game, which is two more items. Yeah, maybe I'll just go and do that now. I don't have to worry about getting caught anymore, so... Um... Actually, hold on. There is a gold skull to up here as an adult. I just wonder if I can get it with a hook shot alone. Or do I actually need the long shot for it? I find it interesting how this archery range is not showing on the map. I already did the Deku Tree Navi! Tell me something new! 
Maybe it's because I didn't get the emerald or I didn't fight Goma. So Navi's confused. Can I get this with just a hook shot? Oh, thank goodness. That's a key! For the Shadow Temple! I might be able to actually progress in that dungeon a little more. I ought to visit at some point. It's nice that I can finally start doing dungeons. At all. Let's call Epona here. Where is Epona? I better just try it again. Where are you? Oh, there you are! And I just realized I pretty much only have enough money for one shot at the archery game, so I can't even get both prizes. Ah, oh, well. I can do it once. Oh wait, this is a randomizer. They might make it so it is possible to get both prizes at once. There we go. Alright, I need 510 more points. Nice! Okay! Please let me get both prizes. Purple Rupee. Thank you, and... Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> okay, back tonight. Alright, before I see... What dungeon is here? Where did Epona go? <laughs> okay, before I see what the dungeon is, let's open up that shortcut. Where's my map? I have too many maps! Where's my fortress map? I want my fortress map. Fortress map. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that way I can cut through the Lost Woods anytime I wish. Although, it probably won't ever be necessary because, well, it's easy enough to get here from Kakariko. There we go. I'm supposed to go talk to her as well, but whatever. I need to use up time. It's just about time to stop anyway. <coughs> Alright, let's see which dungeon this is. <coughs> I've got your money. Unfortunately, I need money every time I want to go into this dungeon. <laughs> but what is it? <coughs> oh, shoot. Luar Temple. Well, maybe I can at least reach the boss? Oh, wait, is this Master or Vanilla? I don't know. Normal. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not going to get too far here. The next video, I don't know. I'll see if I can fight the boss at least. Until then, though, this has been Tales 109, and have a nice day.